Iraq, the name alone conjures up images, deserts, ancient ruins, conflict. These are the images that often dominate our perception of this ancient land. But there's another Iraq, one that most people never see. Beyond the headlines in the history books, there's a vibrant, living culture. It's a country of immense history of warm hospitality and yes, of incredible food. Families gather around tables laden with traditional dishes, sharing stories and laughter. Tucked away in the Middle East, it's a landlocked nation bordered by Turkey, Iran, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Jordan and Syria. Each neighbor has left its mark, contributing to Iraq's rich tapestry of cultures and traditions. But more than just borders on a map, this is the cradle of civilization, the Tigris and Euphrates. These rivers have nurtured life for thousands of years. These two rivers are the lifeblood of Iraq, their names echoing through millennia. They have witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the birth of cities and the dawn of human civilization. This is Mesopotamia, the land between two rivers, a place where the fertile plains have given rise to some of the earliest human settlements. It's where agriculture began, where cities first rose, where writing was born. The innovations that emerged from this land have shaped the course of human history. To understand Iraq, you have to start here, with the water that sustains it and the history that's etched into its very soil. The rivers are more than just waterways, they are the veins of a nation, carrying the lifeblood of its people and its past. Forget the stereotypes, Iraq isn't just endless desert, the north is surprisingly mountainous, home to the Zagros range. These peaks, snow-capped in winter, give way to rolling foothills, fertile valleys, and vast plains. This is where wheat and barley grow, where sheep and goats graze, a landscape little changed since biblical times. Then there's the south, where the Tigris and Euphrates converge. This is the Mesopotamian marshes, a unique ecosystem and a world apart. Imagine a labyrinth of waterways, reeds towering overhead teeming with birds and fish. This is the domain of the Marsh Arabs, their way of life unchanged for centuries, a testament to human resilience. Iraq is hot. Damn hot. In the summer, temperatures in the desert can soar past 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the kind of heat that melts asphalt, that makes you question your sanity. It's a dry heat though, so at least you're not sweating your brains out. Winters are milder, with temperatures ranging from the 40s to the 60s. You might even see some rain, a welcome respite from the dust. But don't be fooled, this is still the desert. The nights can get cold, a stark reminder of nature's power. Let's be real, Iraq's economy is a mess. Decades of conflict, sanctions and corruption have taken their toll. The oil industry, the country's lifeline, is plagued by inefficiency and instability. Sure, Iraq has the world's fifth largest proven oil reserves, but getting that oil out of the ground and onto the global market is a whole different story. The official economy struggles, but the Iraqi people are resourceful. The informal economy thrives, a testament to their entrepreneurial spirit. Street vendors hawk their wares, mechanics perform roadside repairs, and families share what little they have. The GDP per capita might be low, but the spirit of survival is high. Section 5. The Cradle of Civilization. This is where it all began. The dawn of human civilization, the very roots of our modern world, can be traced back to this ancient land. Mesopotamia, the land between the rivers, is the birthplace of civilization as we know it. The Sumerians, the Akkadians, the Babylonians, and the Assyrians. These ancient empires all left their mark on Iraq. They built cities, developed writing systems, and created laws that still influence us today. The Assyrians with their grand palaces and formidable armies, the Babylonians known for their impressive structures like the Hanging Gardens, and the Sumerians who constructed towering ziggurats, these civilizations shaped the course of history. Their legacy lives on in the ruins of their cities, standing as silent witnesses to a bygone era. These ruins tell stories of innovation, conquest, and cultural evolution. The artifacts in their tombs, from intricately designed jewelry to tools and weapons, offer a glimpse into their daily lives and beliefs. The stories passed down through generations, told by elders around the fire, keep the spirit of these ancient peoples alive. These tales are more than just stories, they are the threads that weave the rich tapestry of Mesopotamian culture. Step into the Iraq Museum in Baghdad, and you'll be transported back in time. The museum is a treasure trove of history, housing artifacts that span millennia. Marvel at the intricately carved cylinder seals, used to sign documents and mark property, 
and the delicate pottery, which showcases the artistic skills of ancient craftsmen. The imposing statues of kings and gods stand as a testament to the power and religious devotion of these ancient civilizations. This is a tangible reminder of Iraq's rich cultural heritage, a heritage that continues to inspire awe and wonder. Each artifact, each ruin, is a piece of the puzzle that tells the story of human civilization. As we admire these relics, we are reminded of the ingenuity and resilience of the people who came before us. Their achievements laid the foundation for the world we live in today, and their legacy continues to shape our understanding of history and culture. Section 6. Echoes of Empires. Babylon, Ur, Nineveh. These names resonate through history, conjuring up images of grandeur and power. Today their ruins stand as a testament to the rise and fall of empires. Walk among the crumbling walls of Babylon, imagine the Hanging Gardens, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. In the south, near the modern city of Nasiriyah, lie the ruins of Ur, one of the world's oldest cities. Explore the Ziggurat, a massive stepped pyramid dedicated to the moon god Nana, and don't miss the royal cemetery where archaeologists unearth stunning gold artifacts and the remains of ancient royalty. Section 7. Navigating the Now. Let's not sugarcoat things. Traveling in Iraq isn't for the faint of heart, the security situation can be volatile and certain areas are best avoided. The U.S. State Department advises against all travel to Iraq, so check the latest advisories before you even think about booking a flight. If you do decide to go, it's best to go with a reputable tour operator. They'll know the safest routes, the most secure accommodations, and the areas to avoid. And be prepared for a lot of checkpoints, security searches, and curious stares. Section 8. A Taste of Tradition. Iraqi cuisine is a revelation. Forget the hummus and falafel you find in your local kebab shop. This is the real deal a vibrant mix of flavors and aromas that reflects the country's history and geography. Think tender lamb stews, fragrant rice dishes and freshly baked bread, all seasoned with a blend of spices that will tantalize your taste buds. One dish you have to try is mazgouf, a national treasure. It's carp, grilled to perfection over an open fire, then seasoned with sumac which gives it a tangy kick. Another must try is dolma, grape leaves stuffed with rice, meat and herbs, then cooked in a lemony broth. Section 9, Garb of Respect. Iraq is a predominantly Muslim country, and modesty is key, especially for women. Leave the short shorts and tank tops at home. Instead, pack loose-fitting clothing that covers your shoulders and knees. A headscarf isn't always required, but it's a good idea to carry one with you, especially when visiting religious sites. For men, long pants and shirts are the norm. And while you might see some Iraqi men wearing a dish dasha, the traditional long robe, it's best to stick to Western clothing unless you're attending a special occasion. Remember, when in doubt, it's always better to err on the side of caution. Section 10. Dates and Documents. You'll need a visa to enter Iraq, and it's best to apply well in advance. The process can be lengthy and requires a letter of invitation from a sponsor in Iraq. Your best bet is to contact the Iraqi embassy or consulate in your home country for the latest requirements. The official currency is the Iraqi dinar, but US dollars are widely accepted. Just be aware that you'll likely get a better exchange rate if you use dinars. And speaking of dates, remember that Iraq uses the Islamic calendar, so religious holidays like Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr will affect travel plans. Section 11, Rediscovering Mesopotamia. This journey takes us back to the cradle of civilization, a land where history was written in the sands and on the stones. Iraq is a country of contradictions. It's a place where the ancient and the modern coexist in a delicate balance. It's a land scarred by conflict yet brimming with resilience. The echoes of war are still heard but the laughter of children playing in the streets tells a different story. It's a place where ancient history collides with modern challenges, where the ruins of Babylon stand as silent witnesses to a glorious past, while the bustling streets of Baghdad reflect the vibrancy of the present. The weight of the past is palpable in every ruined building and every grain of sand. The cuneiform tablets whisper tales of kings and gods, while the ruins of Ur remind us of the dawn of urban civilization. It's not an easy destination, but it's a rewarding one. For those who seek adventure and knowledge, Iraq offers a journey like no other. This is a land of breathtaking landscapes, where nature's beauty is as diverse as its history. 
From the snow-capped mountains of Kurdistan, where hikers find solace in the serene trails, to the vast deserts of the west, where the golden sand dunes stretch endlessly under the setting sun, from the fertile plains of the east, where farmers harvest their crops with age-old techniques, to the unique ecosystem of the Mesopotamian marshes, where life thrives in the waters that have sustained civilizations for millennia. It's a land of warm hospitality, where the people are as welcoming as the landscapes are diverse. Strangers are welcomed with open arms and cups of sweet tea, a gesture that transcends language and culture. It's a land of stories, waiting to be told and retold. Elders share tales of the past with the young, and guides bring history to life for curious travelers. So go, explore, discover the real Iraq, walk through its ancient sites, engage with its people, and immerse yourself in its rich tapestry of history and culture. It just might surprise you. The beauty, the history, and the resilience of this land will leave an indelible mark on your soul.